Hello, I'm Dana Cowley and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. My guest is Michael Quilty, the counselor for the City of Central Point. Thank you for being here with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. Tell us what the city is doing as far as growth and development. You have a couple of good projects well, underway? We've got a couple of great projects underway. Um, Twin Creeks, which is a housing development, it's a transit-oriented development on the west side of the railroad tracks up near Crater High School. Um, only has one really decent access to it right now, and it mm. runs by Ray May Richardson Elementary School. And we're going to take and put in a railroad crossing there that'll go into the central core of the community there, where their uh, transit-oriented development is going to be placed, where their commercial development in that neighborhood is going to be. And so it'll allow those 1,200 homes that'll eventually be in there to have access out onto 99 without having to go past May Richardson to come out on Pine Street. So it's going to be a great benefit to traffic congestion at the school in the mornings, particularly when parents are there getting their kids in and out of school. Yes, I so think in the long run a lot of people will really like that. <laughs> that's going to be a great project for us and it's going to really, really help, like I said, with the congestion around an elementary school where we want to deconflict our kids from from traffic in the morning. Yes, and yeah. what else do you have underway? The other one is is the urban development um, area in Central Point for downtown has gotten some tax increment financing that's come back from the increase in values for the taxing, taxable properties inside the boundaries mm -hmm. of the urban development area. And we're going to take and redevelop Pine Street. Oh, and we're nice. looking at widening the sidewalks. Um, they won't be quite as wide as they were in the 80s before ODOT came in and, and made Pine Street, you know, four lanes and paved it for us in the mid 80s. But we're going to gain back two to three foot on each side. We're going to keep the majority of the parking downtown. We're going to lose maybe 10 spots on average through the whole length of Pine Street from, from 99 to I-5. So we're really not losing any parking capacity downtown. But people are going to be able to get out and walk in front of the businesses downtown. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put always in helps sales. great hardscape. Helps. We're going to put in some decorative features. There's going to be, in certain areas, there'll be some bulb outs so that pedestrians crossing the road have a slightly shorter distance to walk so that they're out and they're visible so they're not stepping out from behind a parked car at an intersection. They'll be visible to the people driving down the street, so it's going to make it a much more inviting neighborhood mm -hmm. for our citizens and visitors to downtown to get out and walk. And it's going to be really nice because a wallet in a car doesn't spend any money in your community. It's driving through, <laughs> where if you get out and walk, you can walk into the local stores and restaurants and interact with our community. Oh, those kind of facelifts always just bring everybody up. And the fact yeah. that you've got the money to actually do it with and people yes. aren't going to have to pay increased mm -hmm. taxes to fund it is just a double, no, we're double gonna, plus. There's, there's very, very little financial risk to the city from it. It's almost exclusively going to come from the fact that the property values along there will continue to go up in value because of the amenities that are on the street that then encourage businesses to come in and redevelop older parcels. And you um, also have uh, something bringing more commerce into the city this July. You've got a oh, large yeah. music festival coming. Are you ready? <laughs> well, we're working really hard on it. The Country Crossings Music Festival is going to take place at the Jackson County Expo. Um, the folks at the county have been phenomenal working with the city of Central Point. The promoters um, for the event are some of the most organized people you've ever seen. They have internal layouts, they have security, they have internal medical care for people. They have worked so that they can take and bring traffic in off of exit 35 and exit 30. So that exit 33 right there at the expo is actually not affected by the traffic for the four days of the event. Mm -hmm. um, they've talked to us about even the direction that they're going to locate the stage so it doesn't blast the music and the sound from the stages directly into residential neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to locate People it so that, like it, that. <laughs> so that it goes across open space or industrial land oh. um, before it takes and gets into neighborhoods so it gets broken up and muted some. Oh, well, that sounds like that could yeah. be a lot of fun. And we're going to see 25,000 
people show up. It's going to be the second biggest city in in the Rogue Valley that weekend. Yeah, nice little financial pop coming your way. It'll help the whole community. Well, thank you so much for coming and thank being you. with us. And thanks for bringing us up to date on what you're doing for your citizens. Oh, it was a lot of fun. And there's a lot of really good things happening in our community nowadays. This is Mike Quelty. He's a counselor with the City of Central Point. I'm Dana Cowley, and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest. And thank you for listening in today.